In this video, I create a dynamic block for an L profile, which can also be controlled using a block properties table. First, let's create the drawing. At this stage, we can use approximate dimensions, because the exact values will be set later based on the table. Create a block. Specify the block's base point, in this case, it's already in place. In the block editor, find the auto constraint button on the geometric panel. Apply it to the entire drawing. Let's hide the constraint symbols. If the authoring palettes are not visible, you can bring them up here. In the constraints tab, scroll down to constraint parameters. Choose the vertical parameter and assign it to the vertical side, this will be A. For the horizontal side, use the horizontal parameter, this will be B. For the material thickness, use a horizontal parameter as well, label it T. The material thickness must also be set for the other leg, the name can't be the same, but you can make them equal with one operation. Now, let's add the arcs. The inner arc will be R1. The outer arc will be R2, or you can name it R2D2 if you like. The rounding on the other leg, like the thickness, should be R3 equals R2. Now that all required parameters are added, place the block table from the dimension palette into the drawing. Use the first icon to add the needed parameters to the table, calculated parameters can't be edited anyway, so skip those. The table can be filled in by typing or by copy-paste. The second icon lets you add more columns to the table. Since this column is the base, drag and drop it to the front. Copy-paste also works here. Done, save the block and test it. You can see that the pop-up window groups items by the first column, which is why it's good to place it first. The block can be adjusted from the properties panel or with grips, but you can always return to the table values. A quick test. Thanks for watching.